What's up, everybody? My name is Chris. We are getting dangerously close to Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. I appreciate each and every single one of you for coming and hanging out. For coming and hanging out. Watching this little series. Um, oh, what a part is this? This is like, yeah, like part 22. Tomorrow we're going to do the Wrath Cycle. Some Tempest, Exodus, and Stronghold. Oh, uh, it's... Can you hear that? Oh, listen, let's do it again. Uh, what do the kids call that these days? I messed up the whole focus. Let's turn the autofocus back off. <laughs> ASMR. There isn't a whole lot in Homelands. These are only like eight cards in here. But, uh, such a great set. Goblin War Drums. <laughs> we like those. We like those. War Drums. Armored Throw with the, that's right, Spencer Art. This brings back so many memories. So many memories. Spore Cloud. Okay. Spore Cloud. I may not even know what the rare in this is, but Mind Stab Throw. Elvish Hunter. How many cards we have left? Elvish Hunter. Yeah, I'm not going to know what the rare is in this. Dwarven Lieutenant. That artwork is cool. That artwork is very cool. Jeff, nice job, sir. Thelonite Druid. Thelonite Druid. Okay. Let's go to Homelands. Didn't we have a... Uh, wasn't Baron in here? The Singer Baron? I think there's a couple of... Uh, oh my goodness. Well, there's Ira I Irina... Irina... Irene... Irene Singer. Isn't there a couple lands in here that are worth a little bit? There's a land... Wizard School. That's cool. Dark Maze, again, I'm not going to know. I'm not going to know what the uh, the rare is in here, probably. Torture. You would never see art like that on a magic. Well, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let me see something. Hold up. Hold up. Time out. Hold on. I almost said you would never see art like that on a magic card today, but oh, I must have put it away. I must have put it in the binder already. I was going to say, Meat Hook Massacre. Meat Hook Massacre, anybody? Hmm. Maybe. Okay. Willow Fairy. The art is just cool. The art is just cool. Anaba Shaman. Labyrinth Minotaur. And a Memory Lapse. And a Memory Lapse. Very cool. Now, I guess I dropped the... Uh, the booster pack, but that's okay. Put that over here. So let's um so we got alliances, fourth edition, and ice age. Let's do I don't know, they're all foil packs, so they all came from the same era. So how do I open this one? It's on the front? There we go. Let's do, you can see this one got wear on the pack from, I'm not even worried about it. The dude I got it from is solid. Let's do Ice Age first, and then we got Chance for Good Hits in here, and then we'll finish with Alliances. How about that? You know what I'd like out of Ice Age? I would like to find a Pox. I believe Necropotence is in here. Oh my goodness. Necropotence. I'm trying not to tear the pack down the front. Are right, you ready? Oh, yes. Necropotence. I would like to find a pox. How about a pox? All right. Order of the White Shield. That art, though. I'm telling you guys. Soul Barrier. Oh, this is memories. Freilise Supplicant, Energy Storm, 
Foxfire. That art is just very cool. Just very cool. Cooperation. Is that Foglio? This is iconic magic art right here. Tor Giant. Brainstorm, baby. We like those. <laughs> Brainstorm. Circle of Protection. When I when I when I first started playing Magic, we called these cops. We still call them cops, but nobody liked the cops, okay? Nobody liked the cops. Mystic Remorse. Mystic Remorse. Keljorn Dead. Folk of the Pines. Foul Familiar. Lava Burst. Very nice, Tom. And Keljorn Guard. Keljorn Guard. Very cool. All right, so this fourth edition pack, we could get like a Mana Vault, a Sylvan Library. Um, I like corsets a lot. I, I just do. I like corsets a lot. A Channel. The rare is right on top. That's our rare. Channel. Very cool. Believe is channel reserve list. I think channel might be reserve list actually. Sirens call that is beautifully centered though. Beautifully centered, but there's so many there's so many packs of fourth edition that it's it's not going to be worth you know it's not worth grading. Wall of dust. Titiana's Titiana's song. Energy tap. The ink. Sisters of the Flame, Tundra Wolves, this is one of those iconic artworks, 1-1 one, one first strike for one, Fear, Wall of Spears, Amulet of Krug, Sandstorm, very nice, very nice, Sandstorm, Power Sink, the, 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 the color, the print. I like white border cards. Shatter, get that out of here. Giant Spider, and Morale. Morale. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> now it's time for this pack of alliances right here. Okay. I would love... To find a Lake of the Dead. Not because it's one of the most valuable cards in the set, but because I want it for my Underworld Dreams deck. Okay? I don't remember the pack order on these very well. I would happily take just about any of the lands in here. Thawing Glaciers, anything like that. Reprisal. Alright, you ready for this? It's a black card. Strom Gold Spy. Green. Deadly Insect. Black. Fatal Lore. Black. Casting of Bones. Red. Veteran's Voice. Blue. Soldavi Mage. Okay. Black Phantasmal Fiend. White. Can we please have a land in here? We only have a few cards left. Can we please have a land? Wild Astir. I don't think we're going to get one. Guerrilla Tactics. Kaljorn Escort. And Fervored Strength. I believe, believe the Fatal Lore, I believe the Fatal Lore is our rare, I believe, I'm not super familiar with, <clears throat> I'm not super familiar with alliances, but, wow, that was so much fun, you guys, I appreciate y'all, thanks for tuning in, be sure to come back tomorrow for uh, <clears throat> the Wrath Cycle, and then we're going to finish out with, uh, I think we're going to do a Ravnica tournament pack with some uh, some guild pack. 
uh, Dissension Booster Pack, something like that. Let's look for some Shocklands. I appreciate y'all. Bye-bye. What's up, you guys? That was uh, that was today's video. You know, like I, like I said, I think I said a couple of videos back, this was right around the time that I started playing Magic. And these these cards just it's just like i look through them and it's like oh my gosh i remember that art i remember um i remember how much i liked you know phil foglio's art um tom wonderstrands and christopher rush and like you know spencer and like just heather hudson even you know mark tetton like i remember these arts and it, it just it just put me in a place right here, and I just I was just all happy and fuzzy inside. Like cooperation, like this this dude right here, the art that uh, he put out was just so distinct, you know. And then uh, this spell, like uh, lava burst, I like the spell. Brainstorm is a very classic spell. I do believe it was restricted to one in pretty much any format that it was legal in. I believe. Don't quote me on that. And I completely goofed up the 4th edition pack. I don't know how uh, how I didn't know the song was the rare. But uh, I don't know why I thought Channel was the rare. How about that? <laughs> um, sometimes, though, when you open these and you're behind the camera and your brain is here and you're trying to watch your hands and you're, you know, all this other stuff, it's easy to lose track. And I mispronounce stuff all the time. You guys don't beat me up for it because you know, you know. Um, Sisters of the Flame is one of the very few uh, mana dorks for red. One of the very few creatures that I know of. That I know of. Um, and then, of course, you guys all know I love my love my boy Spencer. Thralls. Breeding Pits. I mean, this art was pretty iconic for the time from Susan Van Camp because it was a little bit risque, especially when you had a bunch of Teenage kids playing the game, you know. Um, torture. This right here is Meat Hook Massacre artwork that was printed in 95. That's just all there is to it. And then uh, War Drums. War Drums. I've actually got a playmat, not this art, but I've got a War Drums playmat. So it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to open, you guys. A lot of fun. Tomorrow, we're going to do the Wrath Cycle. I also skipped the Urza block because next year when I go back to my binder videos and I go back to my, my set building videos, I'm building sets of Urza's Legacy and Urza's Destiny right now. I'm looking at the binder right here on the shelf. And whenever I do those, I will pick up singles and then I'll usually pick up a pack or two and then we'll look at the, we'll look at the binder. We'll put the singles and stuff in that I've acquired and then we'll open a pack and see if maybe we can find something we're missing or maybe hit a big foil, you know. Um, if you're new to the channel, go back and look at the dark videos because I did that with the dark. <clears throat> and, uh, like, we built three complete sets of the dark. And that's now actually in a cube, so. But anyway, I'm going to do a saga cube. I'm going to do a saga cube. That's some big dreams right there, Chris. <laughs> All right, I appreciate y'all. I'm doing too much talking. Nothing but love, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.